So here's line number two. <laughs> We're in the same clothes, it's all during the same time. Um, you've already learned line number one, and that's very important because line number one is you're using the same material from line number one. For line number two, you're just adding an extra E, just like when we did Leanda. So if line number one goes like this, one, two, three, one, two, three, all you're doing with this second line is you're adding a high E, right, first string, either with your index finger or your middle, after each time you play a note in the bass. So it's... So if you know first line well, which is what I recommend, then the second line is going to be very easy because all you're doing is playing it again and you're just adding the high E. So again, it's just E, high E, G sharp, high E, B, high E. So uh, I'm going to play through the entire second line so that maybe you can play along with it just to, to, for timing. But do remember that it's line number one with added E's after every bass note. So here's line number two. One, and I'm gonna say and because I wanna do the uh, E's, the high E's are on the and. One, and, two, and, three, and. One, and, two, and, three, and. One, and, two, and, three. Now you're gonna go to the A, A, C, school and you know these videos are being made during quarantine and maybe years later when, when we show this video it'll be interesting to see what happens in the future or what has happened in the past <laughs> so anyway um, the next video will show you line number three and I, uh, oh again from my memory I believe it has an E and then I, I think it has a chord an E major chord which is the second fret with your third finger, your uh, second fret third finger on the fourth string, then second fret fifth string on, on, on the uh, second fret with your second finger, and then your first finger is still on G sharp. First finger, third string, and that chord is E. 